Welcome to the Power Talk Show with me, Dominic. It's another Wednesday, and I've got two great groups here today. One is the Nibs College. Make some noise. Yeah. All right. That's what I like. That's what I like to hear. And then I've got a band, Top Notch Entertainment, the classic band. Make some noise. Yeah. As you can see here the, at the studio, things today are, are so top notch, you know. We are celebrating August babies, and I, I want you, first of all, even before I have any conversation with you, to to let you listen to the classic band. This is one of the best uh, bands to ever grace the Power Talk Show and uh, you are gonna enjoy this and you're gonna enjoy the Power Talk Show today. And as I allow them to prepare, please go to our Facebook page. Tell me if you're an August baby, first of all. Are you an August baby? Let me know. And then, what do you think is unique about August babies? I'd like you to tell me. What is unique about August babies? Go to our Facebook page at Y254 channel and comment there. But before then, let's hear from the classic band. from heaven there's a piece of me who release in the 
brilliant. Wow. The classic band. I, I'm sure you're enjoying this as much as I am doing. And uh, wow, that's just one amazing singing. Wow, that is, I'm, I'm blown away. And you know, the Nibs College has been uh, very supportive of my show too. Would you like them to come back? Yes. Ah, that, that's not sufficient. Would you like them to come back? Yes. So because you're quite supportive of my show, let me first of all read out some few people here from the Nibs College who are also celebrating their birthdays in August. Paul Nderitu Mbugwa, Roska Mungai, Kelvin Waweru, Margaret Wairimo, and then Masi Wanjiro from Nakuru. Uh, best friend here, kwa hapa kwa studio, na ito Grace Nganga. Yeah, Grace Nganga, all right. Then we have uh, Chris Mwangi and uh, Joki Mwangi from Naivasha. Happy birthday from uh, your sister Grace. And then one of the, my biggest supporters from Nibs College, Sam Juguna, is telling me to wish I don't know, come on, girlfriend, I'm money friend. Like in Yanasama too, she's more than a friend. So <laughs> I'm feeling the gap somewhere. All right. So Ruth Wamboi Nganga, all right. Sam Juguna appreciates you. You are one in a million. I guess that's supposed to be one in seven billion, I guess, but still works out. All right. So happy birthday to you all and to those who are celebrating the birthday today. And as I've mentioned to you, please go to our Facebook page at Y254 channel and comment there. Whether, whether you are an August uh, baby, one, and secondly, what makes what is unique about August uh, uh, babies? Now, one of the things I want to challenge you, and you know this is what I do on this show, to help you live your best life, to help you gain the skills that can help you to be competent in the world, to engage in the world in the, in the way that makes your life more meaningful, to make you more, uh, more courageous, and make you face your fears. That's what I want to do. And to help you do this, I want us to discuss about setting goals. Now, so many of us are afraid of setting goals because of the previous moments that you set goals and they didn't work out, or you set goals and you didn't follow, uh, follow through, and so you just gave up. But I want you to still remember, setting goals is important. And I hope this clip that you're going to watch now is going to help you to remember and to love the importance of setting goals. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a how-to video. These videos are practical tips that will help you apply the themes and the topics that I talk about in all of my videos. The first video that I made was called Three Motivational Messages That Will Transform Your 2016. I wanted to share with you a video on how to set effective goals that you will surely accomplish. In 1979, interviewers asked the Harvard MBA program how many of them set goals. They found that 84% of the program set no goals at all. 13% of them set goals but they weren't committed on paper and only 3% actually set goals that were committed on paper and had plans to accomplish them. Ten years on in 1989, they interviewed the same individuals again. The results were absolutely staggering. They found that those 13% who set some goals but hadn't had them down on paper were making twice as much as the 84% who had never set a goal. And even more staggering was the fact that the 3% who had committed goals written on paper had actually been making more money than the 97% put together. Today's session is all about how you can make those goals. I'm going to share with you three questions that will help you reflect on the goals that maybe you've already set for the new year or maybe goals that you're about to set. The first question you need to ask yourself is, are your goals too vague and are they not specific enough? The reason why I ask this is because maybe one of your goals is to get fit. Now when you say that, do you mean as fit as a model? Do you mean as fit as Cristiano Ronaldo? Do you mean as fit as an athlete? How do you define fit or is it just fit enough to walk up your stairs without feeling tired? Becoming more specific about the goals you want to achieve means that you're more likely to understand how much planning is involved in terms of time and resources and how you're going to make it fit into your incredibly busy week. Try to make your goals as specific as possible. The second question you need to ask yourself is, are your goals too grand to be achievable. Now, I'm a big believer in defining your destiny and reaching and accomplishing your goals, but Bill Gates said a fantastic piece of wisdom that I want to share with you. He said that actually people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. We always feel that we can make a bigger change quickly by impulsively acting rather than building blocks that will actually be great 
foundations for future success. What you need to do this year is actually try and find digestible blocks of work, little pieces of action that will help you effectively bring about change in small areas of your life. When these add up and build together, you'll gain momentum and that will affect things in the future for you as well. The third question you need to ask yourself is, are you surrounded by the right people and are you influenced by the right people? If, for example, your goal is to give up chocolate, it won't help if you work at a chocolate factory, you live next to a chocolate manufacturer, your best friend loves chocolate and you're making chocolate cake on the weekends. It's just not going to be possible. You need to be spending time with people who have the same goal, but also people who've achieved that goal and made it into a habit. Are you aware of the little milestones that you need to reach to incentivize you daily? We need to feel inspired by our goals every day. And if you're feeling that your goal is too far away or a tangible outcome is in too far a distance, you need to make it closer. You need to be noticing and observing the small things, the small changes that you can be grateful for that you see every single day or every single week. Make sure you know your milestones, otherwise you're going to get lost. A goal without a plan is just a wish. And Tony Robbins said that Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. And therefore, you really need to write your goals down. Writing your goals down makes them a focus point. It makes sure that everything you're doing in life becomes aligned with those areas. We have to make sure that what you want and what you're thinking about, what you say and what you do are in line. That's how we create harmony in our lives. I really hope this has been relevant for your goal setting. I really look forward to seeing your goals and seeing you achieve them this year. I really want you to get involved in this conversation and this dialogue as we think out loud together about our minds in this world. So please join and subscribe today. Look forward to you joining me. I hope you have learned something from that clip by Jay Shetty who shares about the art of goal setting. And I'd like to challenge you to, to live life more meaningfully. And one of the ways that he has mentioned that you can do that is by setting meaningful goals that mean something to you. One of the ways to achieve a career, one of the ways to settle on a career is to look for two things. How is it personally meaningful to me and how is it socially valuable? Because socially valuable gives you marketability, personally meaningful gives you the resilience to stick, stick to it even when you don't get money from it, even when you don't earn from it. So those two things you need to think about and uh, even as you set your goals. Now, on a lighter note, uh, let's play some games. You know, on, on bad days, we play games. And I have some uh, friends of mine here from the Nibs College. And we are going to start with the spelling B. Uh, we're going to start with the spelling B. I asked some few friends of mine just a few minutes ago if they can play if spelling B. They were like, mm, next time. So we're going to do this with the Nibs. And then next time, we are going to do it with a classic. All right. So. Please turn, turn, turn that screen around. Now, I'm going to give you a word. Look at me, yeah, the two gentlemen. Just look at me, all right? And you're going to compete. If you make a mistake, hold up your mic. Hold up your mic. Yeah, right there. If you make a mistake, he's going to pick it up. Are you ready? Yeah. These are difficult words. For, I, I, I hope for a good reason. You're in the university, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Make some noise. They're in the university. Yeah, it's very good. OK. <laughs> that was the first word. Euphemism. Euphemism. EU. P H E M I S M. All right, give him a give him a give him a clap. All right, okay, he got it. Your word, dissertation. Dissertation. D I. Double S I. No, try again. Pardon. Dissertation, a long essay on a particular subject. D I. Double S A. <laughs> All right, tough. tough one. One zero, one zero. Okay, I'm gonna give you another word. Dozier. Do. A dozier, a collection of documents. Dozier. Yeah. D O Z I A. Z I A. Wrong. Uh huh. Try again. You wanna try again? No. No. You wanna give it a shot? Yeah. All right. Dozier. D I. D D I. D O. D O. D O. D O D O. No, D O. Uh, uh -huh. Double S. Uh -huh. I E R. E R. Well, one clap for him and awesome, awesome. So you're at one one now. Now, another word. Impeccable. 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 I M P E C A B. Wrong. L Try again. Impeccable. Impeccable. I M P E C A 
B L A. Wrong. Try again. Try. Give it a shot. Impeccable. I M P E double C A B L E. Got it. All right. Now we are at two one. We are at two one. In now the next word is impalpable. Impalpable. That is not easily understood or unable to be felt by touch. The word is impalpable. Yes, it's your word, by the way. Yeah, it's your word. Impalpable. Impalpable. I M P A L. Impalpable. P A B L. You have to say the whole word. Last chance. I M P A L B L A. No. Impalpable. Impalpable. I M P U. Wrong. I M P A L P U. Wrong. Okay. So two one, two one. Now either he takes it or you get a draw. Okay. So if yeah. you get this word, you get a draw. If you lose it, he's gonna win. All right. And the last one is very simple. Infinitesimal. Infinite. That means extremely small. Infinitesimal. Infinitesimal. I N F I N E T No Infinitesimal Infinitesimal <laughs> Infinitesimal Yeah sorry infinitesimal that's my pronunciation Infinitesimal Yeah sorry. I N F I N E I'm going to give you another chance because I mispronounced it Infinitesimal Infinitesimal mm -hmm. I N F I no, just or, let it. Okay. Go. Okay. Infin infinite infinitesimal. I N infinitesimal. I N uh -huh. F I uh -huh. T E uh -huh. so, Okay, let me come up again. Okay, I'm gonna give you an equal word because for the sake of time and then you you you, you compete over it. This one we not take all. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna give you a word. Omniscience. Omniscience. Mm -hmm. O M. You cannot C pause. I. Omniscience. Go. O M. C I. No. Omniscience. O M. O M N I. S. C I E N C E. Yes. Give me, give me some right for him. Thank you so much. All right. So, uh, what's your name? David Kamau. When, when is your birthday? Is also this month? Yeah. Yeah, I'm also Kamau. So I think Kamau is uh, doing 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 well in life. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So give 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 them a round of applause again. What's your name? Jackson. Why? Jackson. Also, uh, make some noise for them. You you can do some piano there. All right. Make some noise for them again. Now we we are going out to play another second game, and possibly you can even stay right there. Okay. Uh, this game is very simple. You're gonna face that side. All of you face that side, except you. All right. Face me. You face that side. And this is what you're gonna do. I'm going to pass a message to you, and you are going to pass the other pa to the other person. I'm going to show you only once, okay? And then you pass to the other person in front of you. So here is the message, all right? You can play some music in the background. Here is the message. Pass the message. <laughs> Start turn around and, and look at him. Show, show the message. Show what you have received. So what's the final message you've got? This way. <laughs> so the initial message was one, two, one, two, and go. Give them a round of applause, please. Thank you so much. All right, please have a seat, have a seat. All right. So we were just observing that and laughing uh, how 
Five people can confuse one message so fast, and they, and they miss it at the very uh, long run. I'm going to take it now back to the classic band. We are done with the games for today. I'm going to take it back to the classic band for their second performance. So classic band, take the floor.
Classic Band. Wangapi hawa jahesabiwa? Mwesabiwa? You have been... Wangapi hawa jahesabiwa? Let me see. Like me. You know, you have been counted. All right. All right. I hope the, I hope the census is going on well. First of all, uh, some sad news is where one of the enumerators was gang raped. Of course, we have had some of these issues going on and we... Uh, we pass our condolences to the team. So I hope that's going on well. And now uh, we're going to take a short break again. And now I want you to watch another small clip here challenging you on the understanding that before you succeed, you're going to fail more than 10 times. Possibly you're going to pass on the 10th time or the 20th time, but do not give up. As you celebrate your birthdays, I want to again challenge you with this clip. Do not give up. Watch this clip. We'll be right back. I failed for funny things that I failed a key primary school test for two times and I failed uh, three times for the middle school middle schools you know for three years I tried to fail in the universities so I applied jobs for 30 times got rejected I went for a police they said no you're not good I went to even the uh, KFC when KFC came to China come to my city <laughs> You 20, 24 people went for the job. 23 people were accepted. I was the only one guy. <laughs> and we went for police. Five people, four of them accepted. I was the only guy that I received receive it. So for me, being turned down, rejected. Oh, by the way, I told you that I would I applied for Harvard for 10 times rejected. <laughs> I know if you reject, it's I just want to say that. Yeah, sorry now. <laughs> I think we have to get used to it. We're not that good. Even today, we still have a lot of people reject us. I, I don't think in this world there are a lot of people be rejected more than 30 times. If we, you know, the only thing we never give up, the only thing like we're like a forest to gun, we keep on fight, we keep on change ourselves. We don't complain. Whether you are successful or not successful, I find that when people, when they finish the job, if they make a mistake, if they fail, if they always complete the others, this guy will never come back. If the guy only check himself, yeah, something wrong with me here, something wrong with me there, this guy has a hope. Welcome back to the protection. I hope that clip has taught you one thing or two. Uh, from Jack Ma, who failed in the university, as he's saying, he failed in so many jobs, uh, such that when he went for an application to the police, out of the 24 who went, all the 23 were taken except him. And that is, uh, that is staggering. So oftentimes you're going to fail, then we're going to succeed. And what happens, the more times we fail, sometimes there is anger that builds in us. And then a bit of, I don't want to do anything anymore. I'm just going to lock myself in the house and do nothing, all right? So there's no point in trying. So Jack Ma challenges you and I not to give up even in those moments. And now I'm going to give it back to Classic Band. So Classic Band, are you ready? Are we ready? Yeah, so take us through. Let's go.
Anyone, yeah, talk to me. Uh, tell me, when did classic band start, begin? Anyone on the mic, talk to me. Uh, Fred Ukwapi, Fred, please come, come, yes. Join your team. Join your, join your team, right there, perfect. Yes, so uh, classic band started uh, this year, around uh, May. This year? Yes. In May? Yes. Oh, man, this is great. Make some noise, man, that's, 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 wow. <laughs> So first of all, what, yeah, I just said, uh, Fred, but for the purposes of the, of the audience and viewers, just introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Fred Donji. Uh, I'm, I'm one of the members of Classic Band. So we came together as a team around May uh -huh. to just uh, try to give a new experience to live. OK, people. I think I have to change the mic uh, for the purposes of clarity. OK. Hello? Yeah, OK. Uh -huh. Yes, so as I've said, uh, we came together around uh, May. To, to just try to give a new dimension to live band entertainment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, so we are we are we are a big team, around fifteen of us. Fifteen. That's why you saw the first uh, team here, and yeah. then this is the second team. All right. So yes, and uh, as a as, as a band, we do we do all genres of songs from bongo, reggae, 
all, mm -hmm. including local. Yes. Oh, so great. Yeah. And you have great delivery. I mean, it's uh, really amazing what you've delivered for the three pieces that have been <laughs> performed here so far. Great delivery. And, uh, and we are enjoying you. it. So Thank if you. someone wants to get in touch with you, invite you for an event or something, where can they find you? Actually, uh, we do we do weddings. We do corporate events. We do live performances in clubs and such like. So we are we are on social media. Actually, we are we are on Instagram as Top Notch Entertainment, uh, Kenya KE. And then on Facebook also as Top Notch Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And then you can reach us on, on, on phone via 0725 Or 0708-0708-174-245-245. Yes. Okay, so someone can get in touch with you. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. once again, man, thank you. Thank Great you. job. Thank you. And I hope that uh, you can come back in maybe even two weeks or something if you want uh, your... I think you have a standing invitation to the part talk show. Okay. All right, so make some noise for the for the classic band. All right. Now I want to I want to read some of your comments from home. I've got Samuel Njuguna saying uh, I'm watching to cue on uh, my aunt Mamanderito and my aunt called Moses and Kazinish. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Njuguna. And then from our Facebook page, you've got uh, Shaggy Ke, classic band. I love the lyrics all through. Thank you so much, Shaggy Ke. Then uh, Kenny Kenna Boy, all day from Narok. The show is awesome. I have a best friend of mine who is celebrating a birthday today by the name Irene Kerore Nuts. Uh, well, in fact, August babies are usually kind hearted, usually, huh? beautiful, smart, and above all, lovable. Kindly request classic band to play Malaika Banyashinsky <laughs> uh, for this beautiful lady. Leo Naika Gitayangu Kando, so that I salute you, classic band. All right, so that's appreciation from the viewers. Uh, Emmanuel Kiyoko from Roiro, uh, happy birthday to all August babies. Salimi and Nick Kiyoko Hapo Studio. Uh -huh. Then, thank God, this is someone called Thank God Juguna. All right, okay. Uh, Tabi Gedenji, my friend, happy birthday, many more healthy years. Thank God, thank God. From Nyeri, uh, listening, that is Wero, Paul. Uh, Eman James, can Dominic sing with them? No. Thank you. Uh, I, am a, um, I, I like enjoying music, listening to it. I don't want to hurt people's ears, but thank you for your confidence, Eman James. Many times I forget your name when the show is on air. It'll be the Andiku Hapo Chini Kwa screen. And it'll be your story by the Hapo Chini Andiku. All right. Keep like that. You always write every show and I enjoy it. But your name is, wow, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do this today. Keep like that. Jafan Chelegem Eng Aisero. All right. I think I got it this time. Kutoka Isero kil, eh, Village, Kavisaga, Ward, Nandi County. Lakini kwa sasa niko mawindo hapa Elgon View Estate. I hope, <laughs> I hope those are uh, illegal mawindo. Yeah, elder listening live, kama kawa, shabiki wanipate. Yeah? Yani you have you and put your number there. Keep like that. Serious. Hey, Eman James is back. Hiyo band imeweza. Na wakubali sana. Mombasa na wapata vema. Siwezi banduka. Hello. Right back to you, Eman James. Producer, Magustu Babu, yeah, kutoka Mombasa, Sante, Man James is back. Wanaweza tradition songs ama wanamevuka boda, wanaimba urban songs. Yeah, they can do anything you want. If you had time, you could do some uh, requests. Salim, wanasema, watching from Mombasa, f play for me, Buna Boy. Okay, uh, why, an an another, another show, Buna. Uh, Salim, niaze? Buna Boy. Uh, I, I don't listen to that music, sorry. Eman James, wanaeza imba song yote ya akothe. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That is the fourth comment, Eman James. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Hi, Mr. Dominic Kamau. Nick on Daniel show, Nikiwa Konza City. Happy birthday. Asante sana to the August. I'm sure you, that's to the August babies. Young will last month, but thank you. Hello, great, uh, my friend Cynthia. Okay, greet, sorry. Greet my friend Cynthia from Narok watching. Thank you so much, Nganga Mutoni. And then uh, lastly... Uh, anniversary follower, Kenny Kennerboy, a love classic band, Wapewe Tenda Sasa. <laughs> okay, and finally, wish Chris Mwangi, uh, JK Mwangi, and Masi Wanjiku from Seas and Friend uh, Racy. Thank you so much for the comments. Keep them coming on our Facebook page at Y254 channel. And right now, uh, I'm going to take it back to the classic band for uh, their last two uh, items as we prepare to cut the cake with the August babies.
Much energy here at the classic band <laughs> at the part talk show with the classic band doing amazing things as you can see there's a cake right here we're gonna enjoy with them first of all just make some noise again for the classic band come on <laughs> all right here with me i've got uh, three of those of us here who are celebrating the birthday in august this august or so their birthday was in the month of august we've got uh, eric at the extreme uh, right then we've got david kamau We've got uh, the artist here, the artist here, Salim, Salim Jr. No, not Salim Jr. And uh, they're celebrating his birthday, and he's, he's got a gift right here. And he gives a gift every month during, the, during the, uh, our birthdays. And of, of course, life. celebration of life. And he's going to give this gift to the classic band for being part of the celebration of life. Make some noise. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Now, I will ask uh, also as, uh, as an appreciation, 
as the classic band plays some music in the background, maybe some happy birthday song, some tune, happy birthday. As you go about it, let me read some comments here. Please go on, go on. So there is uh, Nganga Mudoni is saying the band is too awesome. I'm so grateful today. Sir John the Captain, say hi to Gracie, my best friend, okay? Then we've got uh, Nganga Mudoni, hello, great my friend. Great my, okay, I think that we have uh, mentioned. Jackie G. Hey, I'm Jackie from Embu. The show is, is just lit. Then we've got Emmanuel Kyoko from Roiro. I've read you. Uh, I've read your comment. Uh, Josfat Musioka Boy. Hello, Mr. Kamau Nikondania Shonikiwa Konza City. Happy birthday to my younger sister. As she turns 12 years. Hey, happy birthday. Uh, then we've got, uh, I think that is it for now. But the cake is here. And the last song we are going to have, uh, we are all going to dance. So I'm going to move here and ask Fred to go to the center there and give the cake to our birthday uh, babies today. Please play a birthday song for us, classic band, as we do this. All right, let's go. So some happy birthday song. And you can sing, yeah? Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, come on. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Alright, and I'm, I'm gonna give you a piece of cake, yeah, to the birthday, to the band of the day. Here you go. We're gonna hold that. Alright, let's go. Perfect. Make some noise for the classic band. Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, my dearest viewers, you have come to the end of the Power Talk Show, but we are, we are going to finish with the dance now, and even the audience, those who want to join in, can join in for this dance. This is a beautiful song, Inama. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 I'm, man, I'm getting old, or I'm getting tensed. All right, so it's been a pleasure, and happy birthday to the August babies. Uh, and I want to thank the classic band who have been here. I want to thank my audience from Nibs College, and I hope to see you uh, next month on another Power Talk Show. Do have a good evening. Classic band. Let's go. Ukudekeza kama mtoto, corona furahia, na vyogeu kamoto, matozo nalia.
Kwanza ni onesho na nyonga je Nyonga kibasi keri nyonga Kwa kibasi keri nyonga Nyonga kibasi keri Aki ono kifanya pede li yoga Nyonga kibasi keri nyonga Kwa kibasi keri nyonga Ama kibasi keri Yeah. 